a note on sometime in April. Uh, with Idris Elba, who's Augustine, Deborah Winger, who's Prudence Bushwell, but the major presence, the overbearing uh, aspect of this film is the London genocide. Uh, it's the worst calamity in recent history. Uh, I was thinking of the timeline. The days as the days go by were shown in the film on the screen uh, day three day ten and the number of people killed and I don't remember and I have to say it's irrelevant if it was day 11 or day 12 or 10 when it said uh, 400 if it was 400,000 or 600,000 there's still so many, and at the end we all know it was a, a genocide, and um, I'm just guessing the biggest number of people killed uh, in, in, in recent history. Uh, so, as I said, I, the way I recall it, they love already 400,000 people killed. Maybe I'm exaggerating, maybe I'm saying fewer than they were actually killed, but it's um, it's horrible and um, in fact I was thinking <laughs> this is something that will have an impact on my happiness level I mean I would be depressed and affected uh, if we refer to the formula of the father founder of positive psychology Martin Seligman Perra positive experiences, positive emotions, engagement, positive relationships, meaning and achievement. Uh, a few of these in the, in the formula would be affected. Uh, and not, I, I, I'm not speaking just, you see a film, you see gruesome images, and then you go out, the sun is shining, or about to, uh, and everything's fine. No, we can, uh, if not life-changing, I don't know, uh, after all this is the film and we know about the massacre, we don't just find out about it now. Uh, I mean, some few people can, can discover uh, this uh, only by seeing the film, but otherwise we are connected and we've been around uh, for the past few years. Uh, we know about this, we heard about this. Um, even if it didn't have such an impact in the West, as one general puts it, one of the, those responsible for this uh, genocide, when he's called by uh, Prudence Bushwell, who is a, an assistant secretary of state in charge with the region, he says, well, after she's, she's criticizing, says, well, well, we heard what happened. Uh, the, the version in the press conference was maybe what they knew at the time, when Clinton was president, I don't know, um, that um, the government is facing some rebels and they fight, they're fighting with them. Uh, but in the conversation, she said, well, look, you, have, you, you can stop, you have to stop radio uh, programs and the, this thing with the cockroaches and this hate speech and inciting violence. What will you do? Uh, we don't have diamonds, we don't have oil. You, will you send the Marines in? He doubted that and indeed it's, it's a question of what well, Ralph Hurti, we know about that since ever since Bismarck who invented it as far as I know. Uh, yes, the world is uh, forced to interfere when uh, its resources, its uh, energy sources are, are uh, threatened 
and everything comes to a standstill if if they have no more energy. But when it happens in a place like Rwanda, they sometimes choose to look the other way. Literally, there's a French convoy at one point. That that's in a scene. That's a gruesome, terrible scene. And they're followed by this when it's Dacia car by the group uh, led by Augustine. And they're trying to escape, and they say, "Well, with a convoy, the convoy has a protection, has French soldiers. It's ahead. They're not part of the convoy because they wouldn't. The French wouldn't let them in. Only expats. We have the orders. We have to get our own people out. And that's it. But he could still have said, that's how I feel. A human being would would have to do that. Uh, look, they're with us." Uh, the, uh, there was a roadblock, and that's the least you could do. You don't, you didn't take them in. You didn't, you're not uh, doing anything basically for them. Just let them say you're with them because they indeed even had a connection. But I have some points with the French would say here, but let me not get into that. Uh, many terrible scenes. Um, Killed with machete and well, so many and bodies everywhere. They carry bodies with a truckload, with trucks, and it's it's um, you you're wondering what, 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 how, is are human beings capable of this? Well, they are. It's it's reality. It's not fiction. And then to end with. Um, Indeed, the Americans, because I said that they were not interested in it, it cynical, and it is to a large extent. But it's also true that they tried to intervene in Somalia, and the result was disastrous. There's another film on this, Black Hawk Down, and uh, bodies of American uh, servicemen dragged through the streets and, and, and insulted and, and uh, abused. People, um, bodies of, of, of the dead uh, American soldiers, pilots, and, and uh, that image had an impact. And um, indeed, there's also this thing that America cannot be. It's not the policeman of the world. It cannot be all the time and everywhere in the world. 